Mark Ainley from GC Realty Development, a local property manager and also co-host of Chicago's number one real estate investment podcast, Straight Up Chicago Investor. And what I want to talk to you about today is what you must know as a landlord, uh, housing provider, whatever you want to call it, here in Elgin. So Elgin is a little more difficult than other cities, mostly because there's different rules for which part of town you're in. Now, when I say which part of town, I don't mean which part of town specific to Elgin, but which part of town Elgin falls in as far as the county goes. So. If anyone's familiar, if you're familiar with Elgin, you know that the eastern side of Elgin is in Cook County and the western side is in Kane County, which means that depending where you're at, you might have a different rule you're following than your friend that's on the west side uh, of, of town or on the east side of town. So why don't you listen up here? So if you are in Cook County, you have to know that there's the Cook County Rental License Ordinance that's out there now. Uh, this came out last year. It's a entire, whether you're in Schaumburg, in the, the Cook County part of Elgin, if you are in Berwyn, you have to be following this RTLO, Residential Tenant Landlord Ordinance. Uh, this has so many different restrictions that you have to be familiar with, including where to hold your security deposit, different disclosures, the specific lease that you should be using. And this is all if you're in Elgin in that, that sliver of, of uh, town that's in Cook County. Now when I say this sliver of town, uh, I'm talking about the east side, and, and make sure you pull out your map and make sure you look at your tax records, but it's mostly the larger section east of Route 25 in Elgin. So if you're in there, you gotta be following this RTLO, the Residential Landlord Tenant Ordinance. Now also what comes with, with Cook County is the Just Housing Amendment that passed in 2019. 2019, it's, two, it's 2023 right now at the time of this recording, but that means um, that you might not have been following it if you've never heard of it. So. Uh, a lot of people have it, so don't feel bad. But what that is, I put a link here, uh, is you have to screen your tenant a certain way when it comes to background checks. So if you don't know about it, make sure you learn about it. Feel free to reach out to me and ask more questions. Now let's just get to Elgin. So Elgin has a rental license program. So uh, City of Elgin, in order to be a landlord there, uh, you have to pay an annual fee, which that annual fee will depend on if you have a single unit or how many units you might have in an apartment building. So uh, the fee does go up the bigger your building gets, but it's something you have to pay on an annual basis. Now, the next thing that comes with having that rental license is the rental license inspection. So that stinks. Uh, that means every year if you, uh, that the inspector is going to come out and they're going to inspect your property for life safety things. We put a link here to some things that uh, you want to make sure you're looking out for as a landlord. Now, those things are nothing crazy. They're not looking to make sure you, you don't have uh, your, your everything perfectly aligned. They're, they're not looking for cosmetic things. They're looking for life safety things or make sure there's not four families living in, in, a, in a one bedroom apartment. They're looking for make sure your smoke detectors exist. Make sure there's no uh, tripping hazards uh, uh, that could hurt somebody on, on the public si sidewalk, whatever it might be. They're looking for those type of things. If you're a good landlord, this should be a fairly good uh, inspection to pass. Now, the city of Elgin has it where you can, if you don't fail for any life safety things uh, this year, that means you could go two years without getting inspected. So that is huge to not have to, uh, it, it, it basically reduces half the, t half the inspections you ever have to get in the life of owning that property. So uh, make the effort to look at the list um, either below or on the city of Elgin's website what they're looking for when they come out there to inspect. So uh, there's a few things just wanna make sure that you know about here in Elgin. If you have any questions, please reach out to myself. Uh, we are a property manager in Roselle. We manage hundreds of properties in, in and around Elgin, and we're very familiar with uh, the inspection process, the inspectors. We're very familiar with Cook County and, and those rules that you have to do if you're over there on part of the east side of Elgin. But reach out anytime, and thank you, and keep investing. Bye.